This is Mike Elgin, and I'm taking a look at the new Google Plus app for iOS. This is really an iPhone app. This is the size it is on the iPad, but at double size, it actually re looks really good, especially the pictures on the posts. Now, this is the main stream view. I'm looking at all my circles here, and the pictures, which you can't really tell in this video, but in real life, the pictures are perfect. They don't look like they've been expanded or anything like that. The interface here is very path-like with the name of the poster and a bit of their profile picture behind it and you see that it separates uh, and they go at slightly different speeds which creates a really nice effect and also the profile picture expands and then shrinks quickly as it comes onto the page which is a really nice effect. It feels more alive. So I really like this interface. This is really quite a beautiful user interface for a mobile device, especially on a phone, the way that all the pictures go all the way to the edges and then text, or at least the first part of text, is overlaid on top of the picture to make good use of the space. Now, you also see that there are plus ones, comments here. If you click on anything, you can see the actual post with comments and you can comment. Profile looks just like the main stream. It's another stream, but with just your own posts. And the photos view is actually very nice. It shows you all of the pictures that you've uploaded. And then, of course, you can drill down and see more pictures. Uh, the messenger view and the circles view are pretty similar to how they looked before, uh, but they're still uh, functional and uh, look great. But again, the star of the show is this new stream view. This looks great on an iPad. It will look great on an Android tablet. Uh, and looks like Google is just going to have this one, although I prefer that they had a tablet-specific version. In the meantime, this is a huge improvement, and I really like this a lot.